Hello, welcome back to another London Bears video. We're back at Sprites Bridge Park for another home game against Hendon United Sports Club. Obviously last time out we lost 4-2 to them. This time we're at home, we haven't lost at Spikes Bridge before. We're in the purple kit, they're in the red. They're still top of the league having won all of them bar the one they lost to HMH last week. We're in the purple, they're in the red, we're shooting left to right, they're shooting right to left. Let's hope we can get a better result against them this time. We got Zaki back in the team, we got Dan Grease in the team, we got enough going forward today to get the result. Let's hope we manage to concede less than we did last time. So here we go then, Hendon get us underway, and as we said last time, they're a very, very good footballing side. They've got a lot of quality players and they like to keep the ball around the back and then play through us. Last time out we went 1-0 down very, very early against them from a screamer from their 20. But this time out we won the ball really high up the pitch, we found Dan Crease early, Dan finds Zaki. He doesn't quite make it, goes back to the seven. He clears out to Shaq. Shaq wins the ball. Zaki does well to hold it up. Can he win or something? He's won us a throw. That's a good start from the Bears there. As we've now got a free kick for Hendon early on. They're going to swing it in from the halfway line. It's a bit of a long punt. And we don't win the first header. It's dropped around. Where's it come to? Come to the number, I think he's the winger on the edge. The two shoots. And that is not harming the goal anytime soon. From that shot, we get a goal kick. I'm going to play out short to Ricky, as we like to do. We like to keep the ball early on. Let's hope we can play the ball nice and quickly here as Ricky takes too many touches. And the 20's dispossessed him. That's really not good from Ricky at all. The 20 cuts it back. Can he finish? It's what a block from Oscar, that is. And it's cleared really poor there from Ricky. Got to do better on the ball in those types of areas, especially against a good team like this. Dan Kreese loses out there to their player. Their player plays it in behind Alex in the number 20. The 20 running past Alex down the left-hand side. Alex is not going to catch him. 20 gets past him. 20 shoots. It's saved by Mitz. Oscar, oh my God. Oscar's put it into his own net again. And he smashed it into his own net. We've seen that before against HMH. And the Bears are 1-0 down again early on against Hendon. It's not quite one minute this time. It's six minutes. But it gives the Bears a really uphill task from there. 1-0 to Hendon. So it's such a poor goal to give away for the Bears. We started all right on the ball, but we're 1-0 down and we've got to go again. We've got Joe Bellman on the ball down the right-hand side. Joe playing into Ricky at the back. Better from the Bears, they're trying to get on the ball. Bellman, Bellman, Bellman. Finds the ball to Sam Martin, looks onside there, but I think it's going to be pulled back there for offside. Better from the Bears, they're trying to play in behind Hendon, but Hendon are now on the ball. Here is the number 15. Number 15, tosses it up in the air. Can Oscar win the header? He can't. It's a good touch from their striker. Striker's got a lot of time to turn on it. Finds 15, though. 15 plays out wide to their right back. He's going to get the ball. What is he going to do? He's going to cut inside. Right back plays inside, finds it, but Tommy does well, but gets it back to the right back. The 20 shoots, and it's straight down my throat, and I'm going to hold that, and I'm going to throw it out to Bellman as we look to counter. We've now got the ball at the back with Oscar. Oscar plays a nice ball over the top to Tommy. Can Tommy get there? He can. Plays back to Oscar. Bears trying to control the game now at 1-0 down. We've got to do better in possession and try and find the passes into Zaki. But we haven't done it there as the right back intercepts. But we've won it back through Tommy. Tommy does well. Can Tommy find Zaki? Now he can. Tommy up against their number seven down the left-hand side. Zaki, he's not quite fit yet, but here he is and finds Alex. Alex, what can he do? Finds Joe Bellman. That's going to be Joe, is it? Down the right-hand side it is. What can Joe do? Can Joe pick out a pass to a purple shirt? Joe still driving through the middle. Finds Dan Crease. Dan Crease on the right-hand side where he's dangerous. Takes his player on into the box. Dan Crease on his left foot, shoots! And it's a big save from the Hendon keeper there. Much better from the Bears in possession as we build up there. So again, we've got the Bears on the ball at the back. Plays it long into Dan Crease. Dan Crease doing what Dan Crease does and holds his ball up. Dan Crease, can he find the Bears shirt? He can. Finds Sam Shackleton down the right hand side. So much better from the Bears since they scored. Shax tries to find Zaki Dumu. Zaki Dumu at the back post is going to get to this ball, I think. He does. Zaki, can he get across his man? Zaki up against the right back, beats his man, gets the ball across and it's deflected behind for a corner. Really, really good play from the Bears at the moment. It's going to be Benji Cowan to whip it in. It's into the near post, it's headed away. Comes back out to Benji Cowan. Can Benji find the cross that will put us back into the game? Benji, it's a great ball in. It's going to be cleared at the back post. It's not. It found Zaki Dumu. And oh my God. Zaki has missed an absolute sitter. Six yards out. He's stuck that over the bar. He hasn't played for a couple of games now. That could be the rustiness that we do not expect from Zaki Dumu. But that's got to be a goal in my book. But Hendon now coming forward again. They're looking to get this second goal. They've played it in behind to the 12. Ricky slides. Joe slides. Is that a penalty? Looks like a penalty. I think Joe might have won the ball though and we've got away with that as they've now got a corner. It's going to be swung in. It's on the line and it's ooh, just about caught by me. Can I release one of our players early for this counter-attack? I've gone long. I think I've tried to find Dan Crease. I have. It's a great touch from Dan. 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 Dan up against the 12. He's going to, it's, that's actually number two. Dan finds Zaki Dumu outside. Zaki Dumu. Can he turn for that miss early on? Zaki. And it's straight down the keeper's throat. Zaki not quite finding his range at the moment, but hopefully he will do soon. It's Hendon now come down the left-hand side. Plays it inside. Who's that to? It's to the right back, is it? No, it's the, the yeah, it is. It's number two. Number two. He's going to have a shot from there. He is, and it's punched away from me. Probably should have caught that, but we've palmed it away, and it looks like we're going to get away with it, are we? Yeah, we are, and it's going to be cleared by Oscar. 
And we've now got the ball again down the left hand side. Here is Benji Cowan who plays a hospital pass. That's shocking from Cowan. Here's the number 20, picks it up. 20 gets away from Joe and now gets away from Ricky. He's going to be one on one with me, gets away from me, gets to the byline. Looks like it's gone off. It's 2 0 to Hendon there. And I think that could be the goal, but I'm not sure it is because the referee has pulled that up for going off for a goal kick and we are lucky to remain at 1-0. So we're lucky to remain at 1-0 there. We've now got lots of people in the way of the camera, but I think Hendon are going to get a shot away here down the left-hand side. He cuts inside, he shoots there and it's going to be held by me. That's comfortable when we remain at 1-0. So still 1-0 here, Hendon on the ball, but Shaxi's done well to win it back and it's going to be Zaki. Zaki looks for the ball over the top to Dan Crease. Dan, down the left-hand side, can he get a shot away here? He's down one-on-one -on -one with his man, he cuts inside, he's going to score surely. And he's put it over the bar. Not quite the striker's day so far, but we're getting the chances, just not quite putting them away at the moment. As we found Alex. Alex finds Benji Cowan. Benji Cowan's going to drive through the middle of the pitch. Finds Dan Crease. Better from the Bears. Benji again. Dan finds Benji. Benji finds Zaki. Zaki again in that position. Can he find his range this time? Zaki Dimu cuts inside and shoots. Oh. And there it is. Zaki Dimu has found a top corner this time. He stuck it away with a bit of power. And there we have it, Zaki Dumu doing what he does best. He stuck it top bins and we're level here, 1-1. Maybe deserved, maybe not, but we've got the goal and hopefully now we can go and push on and get a second. Straight after that goal, it's going to be a corner to Hendon. It's swung at the back post, two free headers and it's just over the bar. Almost there, 2-1 to Hendon, but we've got away with it as they've now got the ball again with the 20. 20 with a nice back heel into the 19. The 19 coming down the left-hand side up against Ricky. Plays it inside, can this guy get away from him? Can he shoot? But straight down my throat. Hendon there looking for the second goal. They're all over us now just before half time. Here's the winger. Cuts inside, finds a 20. 20 plays out wide to the four. Really good play from Hendon at the moment. Four cuts inside. Finds the number two who shoots as well. And it's another save from me. Lots of shots from the edge of the box from Hendon at the moment. Testing me but not quite finding the range. Here's the number 12. The 12 again Hendon. They're steamrolling us at the moment. 12. Gets away from Manny, shoots, and it's another save from me. This one's slightly more difficult, lots of power, but I pushed it away for a corner. An actual attack from the Bears this time. We've got a free kick from Alex. Alex swings it in. We know what his delivery is like. It's a great ball from Alex on Ricky's head, but it's going to be straight down the keeper's throw, and that's the end of that attack for the Bears. Back to an attack with Hendon now. End to end at the moment. 19 finds the number 20. Number 20 up against Joe, plays a nice ball inside. He's got a lot of time there inside. We're approaching half time. He's turned. It's the number 15, and what a save from me. Oh my God, I've tipped it onto the bar, it's fallen to the winger. And there we go, it's 2-1 to Hendon. I've made a ridiculous save and my team have not bailed me out there. And it's 2-1 to Hendon. Let's just take another look at that save just for my satisfaction, as I'm very disappointed the fact that we've conceded that goal. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I tipped it onto the bar and their players come in with a rebound, tapped it away and it's 2-1 to Hendon. That's in the 45th minute, that's so frustrating going in because we were going in 1-1 but now we're 2-1 down and Hendon looking for this third goal as they clip across in. It's going to be cleared, is it? It's come straight to me. I think I'm going to kick this up in the air and we're going to get the half-time whistle from the referee, are we, I think. I've kicked it and there it is, half-time. That's so frustrating to go in at 2-1 as we've done well to equalise and get ourselves back in the game. But we haven't made use of it and it's going to be 2-1 to Hendon as we go into the second half. It's not good enough there from that second goal point of view. But we've got still in this game and we've still got a chance to go out and get the win. So we're going to get the second half underway. We're going to be looking for this equaliser as early as we can. Hendon, we can't let them get a 3-1 lead because two goals to get back in the game is going to be difficult. As we've gone long and that's a foul on Dan Carice, surely. And the ref has given them a throw in. That is a shocking decision. We've now got a corner which is swung in from Alex. It's going to be cleared away by Hendon. It's up in the air. Cowan, can he get on it? He can't. Falls to Joe Bellman in the head. He shoots. It appeals to handball. It looks like a pen there. Surely that's a penalty to the Bears. It's not been given and Shax has not got the ball there. Alex Rose now on the ball. Alex swings it across. It's a great ball. It's going to be Dan Grease. And it's gone through to the goalkeeper. It's a great ball from Alex. But they just can't get onto the end of it. Good start to the half from the Bears. But Hendon coming forward now with a striker. Plays a nice ball over the top to the 20. The 20, one on one with Tommy, what can he do? The 20, gets past Tommy, does really well. Can he get the cross across? He can, cuts it back, Benji misses it. Number seven, can he put it away? Straight down my throat and we've got away with that. Could have been 3-1 there to Hendon. We've got the ball now with Shax, what a touch. Not quite, but it's Alex Rose. Alex, Shax, Alex, Alex, driving through the middle. Can he find a pass? Is Alex Rose over the top to Dan Crease. Dan Crease, one on one with the keeper, what can he do? Dan Crease, surely he's got to score. Squares it to Zaki Dumu. <laughs> And there it is, Zaki Doom has made it 2-2, and what a goal that is. 
Alex to Shax to Alex, over the top to Crease, Crease squares it to Dumu, and there we have it, it's a perfect Bears goal, it's 2-2, and we're back in the game, now we're going to go and looking forward and get try and get this third goal. So we've now got Endon going down the left hand side with the left back, and it's not, it's a number four, what's going to do? Finds a pass into the seven, seven's in behind our back four here, but he cuts back, he's going to shoot as he knows, he takes a touch, cuts inside, gets away from Alex, finds a number 12, number 12, one on one with Tommy, what can he do? Tommy does really well there, it comes out to the right back, here's the number 18, gets past Tommy, finds the number 12 again. 12 cuts inside. Can he get a shot where he can? He crosses it in and it's headed to the back post. Just wide from Endon. They're so close there to making it 3 2, just as we've equalised. They're coming forward again. This is really frustrating because we've done really well to get back in the game. But Hendon are now coming forward with the 20. The 20 cuts inside. Can he get a shot away this time? The 20. He shoots. It's blocked. Falls to the striker. Can he get a shot? He's got a score. And oh my god, he's put it over the bar. How is that not 3 2 to Hendon? They've got to put that away there. So it's currently 2-2 with two, 20 minutes to go. It's rather frustrating that the Bears aren't ahead in this game. We've done really well. Here's Dan Crease. Dan Crease down the left-hand side. Can he find a pass? Dan, taking his time on the ball. Finds Sam Shacks. Can Sam Shacks pick out a pass? He finds Zaki. Zaki down the left-hand side. Can he do something now? Zaki, one on his man, cuts in. Gets the ball across to Sam Martin, but it's just ahead of him. And the Bears almost there, getting the third goal. We've now got a Hendon corner. It's going to be swung in, and it's Ed and the near post is in. But the rest blown his whistle. He's seen a foul there. Not sure what he's seen, but we've got away with one there. And it remains 2 2. We're back on the ball. It's a great ball into Benji Cowan. Not the greatest touch, but he finds Crease. Crease gets away from his man. Here's Dan Crease down the left hand side. Dan Crease up against his man. He shoots and it's a good save from the keeper. And it remains 2 2. Down there. Could have kept it low, but he did. It. Went for power. And it's a good save from their keeper as the number 20 wins the ball. But Tommy clears it. It's a bit of a shank. And they're going to play over the top. 20's going to get there first, is he? I've got there first. Clipped it over it. I've been fouled. And the ref hasn't given it, but we move anyway. There's now a second ball to be won here. Sam Martin doesn't win the ball. And the 20's played a nice pass out wide to their winger. The winger's on the ball now. Lays it off to the 20. The 20, can he get his ball across? He can. It's on my... I've got to get it. I've dropped it. The number 11 shoots. What a block from Tommy. And there's a second ball to be won again. And we haven't got there. Seven into the box. And there it is. 3-2 to Hendon, and it's really poor defending from the Bears. I've dropped a cross, maybe I was fouled, who knows. And then there's a second ball that Tommy clears off the line. And then there's a third ball that Hendon win. And then they've crossed it in, and they've headed it again. And that's really poor defending from the Bears. There's about four passage of plays where we could have won the ball back, and we didn't. And Hendon have punished us, and it's 3-2 with about 15-20 to go. It really is a horrible goal looking back at it, and it's really annoying. But they're coming forward again with the 20. 20 shoots and it's going to be saved by me. It's comfortable. There's time here for the Bears to exert some pressure. It's going to be a corner. It's going to be swung in. Benji Cowan swings it. And Alex Rose's head. And I'm not sure what's happened there. Ref's given them a free kick. And they've got away with it. Nearly went in for Alex there. The ref's given a free kick. We've got Shaxi on the ball. Shaxi doesn't look like he's too happy with that one. And they've come down the right hand side with the four. The four. There's not long left now. Cuts it back to the number 11 who shoots. And it's a big save from me. And that would have sealed the game for Endon. It just doesn't go in for them there. Eight minutes to go now. Bears coming down the right hand side. Joe finds Shax. Shaxi, what can he do? Shaxi swings it in. It's going to go to Dan Crease. It's headed away from the 24. Dan Crease up against three men. But he does well to hold the ball up. Dan shoots. And he's dragged it wide. That's a big chance for the Bears. Not long left now at all. We're in the 88th minute now. Here's Alex Rose on a free kick. Needs a good delivery. Got to find the Bears' head for us to get back in the game. It's Alex. What a ball that is. Is there a head on it? It's that's by post. It's Dan Crease. And Dan Crease has equalised in the 88th minute. And the Bears have snatched a point here from Hendon. And we look really, really deserved of that. And there's still time here for us to go and win it. It's really, really deserved for the Bears. We've played really well today. We've ridden our luck at times. They've ridden their luck at times. And we've got the equaliser now. And there's two minutes left. There is still time for a winner here. Hendon coming down the left-hand side. Can they find the winner? They need this win to keep the pressure up at the top of the league. He's got past Ricky. Can he get the ball across? He can. He finds number four at the back post. But it's too wide. Then it's over the top. Big chance there for Hendon to win it. We've now got us going up the other end. We've got the ball here with Louis Martin, who's come on. Louis finds Benji Cowan. Benji finds Dan Crease. Dan Crease slides it to Zaki Dubu. Zaki Dubu, this is very dangerous for the Bears. Zaki gets past the 24. Cuts it back, it's Bellman. Oh my God, it's missed it. And it's going to be cleared by Hendon. Is it the back post? I think it is. And could that be the chance that the Bears rue at the end of this one? As we're now in the last, last kicks of this game. Hendon coming forward. They've got a man over it. Oh my God, it's the number 12. What can he do? Finds the four, does he? He does. Is the four, the four shoots, does he? Does, and it's, oh my God, it's off the post. And Hendon nearly win it in the last kick of the game. But they keep this attack alive with the 19, gets past Sam Martin far too easily for my liking. Cuts it back to the seven, and it's the four. 
Oh my god, there it is! It's 4 3 to Hendon! And after equalising in the 88th minute, the Bears have lost it in the 91st. And Hendon look like they've got all three points here at Spikes Bridge. The first team ever to beat the Bears at Spikes Bridge Park. And they've done it here in the cruelest of fashions. Hendon have won the game in the 91st minute. And the Bears not good enough again on the second ball, or the third ball, or the fourth ball. And we've reacted too slowly. And there's the winner for Hendon. I can't believe what I'm witnessing here. We're going to have to launch it from this kickoff now with about 20 seconds to go. We've gone back to me. I've taken a touch out. Can I play long? I can. Is it going to be a Bears head? It's not. It's a Hendon head. Benji Cowan's head. It's Hendon. Kicked it up in the air. Joe Bellman's got to win his header. He does. It's now kicked away from Hendon. It's all, gone. It's all up in the air at the moment. Louis Martin and he's handballed it. And he's going to kick the ball away. And there's not long left at all here. The ref looks at his whistle. And there it is. Hendon have only gone and done it. They've won the game 4 3 here. It's an outrageous game of football. We've equalised in the 89th minute to make it 3 0. We could have gone and won it with that ball across from Zaki. Hendon have gone up the other end and stolen it. And it's put them back at the top of the league. And they look like they're going to win the league comfortably this year, having only lost one game. We're stuck in fifth at the moment. Got a couple of games in hand on the teams around us, and we've got to play them soon. We're still in all the cups. We know we're going to be competitive for the rest of the season. Today was unlucky in the end. We've run them close. But Hendon, too good for us on the day. Get that 4-3 win, and we move on to next week, where we play Redbridge at home in the cup. An unlucky result for the Bears. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Join us next week. Love you all.